Leo, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Leo, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with be bold and make the first move. Card Cardinal Moon. Okay, well, look, you are the strength card in the Major Arcana, Leo, which is about having the strength, courage, and bravery to follow your heart. So I feel that you are being asked to move towards a heart calling here and you're being asked to take action towards it because sometimes we're waiting for the right time, the right, you know, everything to line up till we have the right amount of money or whatever it is. But sometimes the time is now and you're being asked to take action towards whatever that calling is. Okay, Leo, let's go to the Divine Abundance Oracle. And building on that message, I have got divine source. Okay. This one says, help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source after all. So you're being asked to move into trust. Okay. In knowing that your deepest needs will be met. But I have a strong message of taking action and moving with that energy that is what's going to really bring it into fruition. It feels like we have a little bit of a divine hand at work here that's on your side. Okay, Leo, let's jump into the full tarot deck. I've got the beautiful Moonchild tarot here from Danielle Null Art, and I've got High Priestess. Amazing. Like This is another real energy of you know intuition, following that heart energy. Now, the High Priestess really shows someone who's sitting at this important threshold, maybe sort of being a bit of a gatekeeper here. And it might be that, you know, you have this kind of idea or, you know, secret calling or, you know, you've been kind of manifesting something here. Well, it's almost time to reveal it to the world or to make it known. Be bold and make the first move. Are you needing to express your feelings for somebody? Are you willing to say, you know what, I'm going to start my own business or, you know, I'm relocating, leaving that job. It feels like there's a big action here for you move, to move towards. And just by saying those words, you know, you make it a reality. I always say that words are the spells that we cast because once we speak something into reality, like it starts happening and those around us start moving differently. So High Priestess, something I feel that you've been keeping to yourself it's time to be bold and make the first move and make it known. Okay, the tower, two for two major arcana. Now, that's interesting because the tower often talks about, you know, a really big release or, you know, a, a very big moment where we're seeing clearly and we are bringing down a tower, which could be, I mean, the towers are our big systems and structures in our life, like our relationship, our work, our home, our money, finances, etc. Now, the High Priestess, I think that you've wanted to take action in one of those areas for some time, but you've kind of been sitting back and observing. But now you're being asked to be bold and make the first move, okay? And I think that is consciously deconstructing the tower because you know that this is on shaky ground and not in alignment for you. And maybe with the High Priestess, you might have even learned a truth or some information about this, Leo. Yeah, and um, now you're taking action. Six of Wands, you're being told that that's going to be your victory. That's going to be your win. Like, this is a really positive energy of someone who's overcoming a significant challenge, but is also someone who's stepping out from the shadows, being seen, being a leader here. So maybe, you know, something that you've been keeping to yourself, you need to express, it's going to bring down a tower, but I just get the feeling that you shine brightly in a positive way because of that. And the number six energy is all about restoring balance and harmony in your life. Okay. We've got a queen of wands here. Now this is generally my Aries card, Leo. <clears throat> So you might be dealing with an Aries, but this is also an energy of determination and it's asking you to have fiery determination, the fire energy being about action that helps you meet your potential. You'll need to stay in that energy, forward move, moving and thinking and looking, being bold, making that first move, but you've got to get past the tower. Between you and your new direction, a tower stands in the way, Leo. 
Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. We've got the fire and ice coming through here. The Ice Queen and the Fire Queen. There could be two different people involved here, or we might be looking at two sides of a different person that you might have been dealing with here. Got a Libra energy with Queen of Swords. And if so, this person could be quite cool and detached. The Queen of Wands, warm, passionate, exuberant. But as an energy, the Queen of Wands, is, sorry, the Queen of Swords is the minor arcana of justice for me. So that means that there needs to be a big move based on a justice decision, a powerful judgment call. So I think this is time. Often with the Queen of Swords, there's a legal component, like getting out of a, a contract, maybe entering into a new contract. I'm thinking, you know, mortgage agreements, uh, marriage contract, you know, um, employment contract, that type of thing. So maybe you're needing to be the one to initiate justice and bring down the tower after a period of sort of intuiting what to do here. And this is the way that you're going to get to your real victory. Now, the Queen of Swords brings balance and also clarity on you know the future direction so it's possible that you've learned something i think maybe even from a queen of swords i think it's the emperor again that's the aries energy so <clears throat> i this is the be bold and make the first move so you're being asked to embody the emperor which is making calculated moves a bit of a logical faith leap here uh, that's what i'm feeling potentially after some evidence of your situation here. I think you're getting evidence for something that you have been feeling as a you know gut feeling, and now it's time to bring down the tower. Now it's time to make your move. This is checkmate, Leo. This is checkmate. Stay in the energy of fiery determination. You might have had evidence by for you know for someone who might have two sides, fire and ice is coming through. Somebody who acts warm and caring on the outside, but is really strategic and has an agenda, maybe. Be bold and make the first move. Now, this could be somebody who is managing you in a work team or is maybe in control of a situation, but you are taking back the control by pulling down the tower. And I've been told here, Leo, that if you be bold and make the first move, that really is going to be your your win and you're needing to have that trust to know that behind that your deepest needs will be met so i am going to leave it there leo and i hope you enjoyed this message i hope it gave you some clarity guidance and insight uh, if you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific circumstances please do follow the first link down below to my website where you can check out what i offer and don't forget to like share comment hit subscribe on your way out that's what keeps the readings coming and I will see you back here in two days' time for your weekly tarot reading. It's going to be really interesting to see how it builds on this one, Leo. So sending love and magic. Bye for now.